Temescal is controlled with the Temescal control system, which is software that's found on this computer here. When you arrive at the machine, uh, it will typically show the system map once you've logged on and, and uh, it's unlocked. Um, and on this uh, system map, you can you can see what status the, the machine is in. So right now it's pumped down and it's at quite a low pressure. Um, there are different pressure gauges uh, shown around here. Um, but when it's at low pressure, we look at the ion gauge pressure reading here. Um, where we can see that we are at 4.3 times 10 to the minus 8 torr. And uh, when we need to control the system, to do something actively, then we go into the auto menu, which you find on the bottom bar here. So we click auto menu, and now we have the option to edit recipes and to select um, different actions including starting a recipe, but also venting, which is the first thing you're going to do when you arrive at the machine. So we're going to do that now. Now when you need to vent, you should always print, press vent PC, which it means vent process product chamber. Um, if you press vent system, it will, print, it will ventilate the entire system, not just the low lock, and uh, it will take you a long time, probably a couple of hours, to pump it down. Whereas uh, when you just vent PC, product chamber, you're actually venting the load lock, and the pumping down should only take you about 20 minutes. So we're gonna vent, vent PC, and press start. And we can see in the auto status what's going on. And on the system map, we can see that the gate valve is closing between the main chamber and the load lock area, and nitrogen is flowing in to the top part of the chamber. So when the system is vented, we can just open the, li the lid of the load lock. So after you load your wafers, you go to the auto menu again, and you need to pump down the chamber. And that's of course the same, when you finish your deposition you also pump down and you have to press start to activate it. While the system is pumping down, you can just go into the auto menu uh, and then you uh, will be able to, to edit the recipe that you want to make sure that you get the right thickness uh, and the right material. So you go to the left part of the auto menu and you choose edit recipe. Now you need to select the file you want to edit. So we'll take, we'll take titanium. Um, and you press open. Um, you will see the recipe title says titanium pocket one, but uh, you should always go in and check that it's actually the right pockets. Um, so you go into the deposition step. You say, so you have to highlight it here. Then you go to edit step. Um, on the first page you don't need to change anything. You go to the next page here, you also don't need to change anything. It's a, the third page is where you are active. You need to check the pocket. Is the pocket correct? So you need to look on the side of the machine and see what, in, uh, what uh, pocket is your material in. I can see the titanium is in pocket one, so that's fine. I can leave it. And that's all you need to look at on page three. You can see the page numbers up here at the top. So I go to next page again, page four. You can set the deposition rate. So perhaps you want to deposit at 10 angstrom per second. Or perhaps maybe that's a bit fast for titanium where you make a thin layer and you choose only one angstrom per second. Um, and apart from the deposition rate, you can also, of course, choose your final thickness. So let's say we want 15 nanometers instead of 10. Then I press 0.15 because you notice that the units here are in kilo angstrom. Uh, so you need to, to convert that to nanometers if you, like me, uh, think about nanometers and not kilo angstroms. Um, 
then the, the last thing you can change on here if you want to is the cool time. So right now it's going to let the, the wafers cool off for, for two minutes before uh, the end of the process. And at the end of the process, uh, the chamber is going to vent. And now uh, you've made some changes, but you need to save them. So you have to go to the first page and you have to click save step. And now it has saved uh, your changes and you can close the recipe. And uh, before you start your recipe, you also have to configure the data log. So data log is going to just save um, the process parameters during your deposition. Um, it has a log file name that you need to put into the process log. So please remember the, the name and please uh, just use the auto-generated file name. You should also put something in the run ID. We can put TI 15 nanometers, one angstrom per second. But this is just for your sake. So if you look in the process in the log file later on, then you can see what was uh, what were you actually trying to do? Because maybe this is not actually what happened <laughs> during the deposition. Um, then you just accept. And now you're ready to start a recipe in principle. However, um, of course the pumping takes 20 minutes. You can go to system map and see what the pressure is at the moment. Before the pressure is low enough to be ready for a deposition, which is uh, at 1 times 10 to the minus 6 torr, uh, you will see that the ion gauge uh, symbol here is yellow. Um, and at the moment, there's still some time to go before we get down to a low enough pressure. So, um, if I want to go away and check my email, I should wait to start the recipe. Because uh, if you start a recipe, uh, the deposition is just going to start spontaneously when it gets to a low enough pressure. So what I can do now is go away and check my email, and then I come back when the pressure is low enough, and then I start my recipe. <laughs>